Oh, that's right. It's jellyfish day. Goodness. I've been putting that off forever. So we got one more dive and then it's jellyfish time. Well, that's exciting. Welcome back to Dave the Diver, everybody. Let's do it. Let's get back in the water. Slow down on those, of course, but I'm pretty sure I could go for an underwater scooter for my afternoon dive as well. In we go, man. Well, let's do a quick check of the phone, actually, just in case. Because I'm sure there's some upgrades we could go for. Other half hustle. Thank you very much for the gifted subscription. Welcome on in, Clicho. Medium net gun requires fragments. Okay, I can't quite afford that. Trank gun I have considered, but I don't really want to go for that. Flame triple axle. God, that sounds violent. Poison triple axle, shock triple axle. I don't know about these weapon weapons, man. I'm kind of all about the trank. All about putting them to sleep all nice-like. I think I'll just stick with that for a little while. Cookstein, I don't think we need to worry about. Eco Watcher, we got a little reward at least. Very nice. I'm gonna get some uh, Kajime still. All right. Let's do it. I've missed you, Dave. Let's get back in the water, buddy. It's been more than a handful of folks that have, uh, that have reached out to me. A lot of people that I've never uh, heard from before, but are apparently uh, folks that have been around for a while that felt uh, inclined to message me in some way or another and say, Hey, Bear, this Dave game is freaking awesome. Quite a few of them, in fact. Have gone so far as to say they've played all of the early access content available and they can't wait for more. And I'm like, I'm, I'm right there with you, man. Half of the... Uh, Half the reason, honestly, that I've been so so slow in playing this one is uh, is that I know I've got that limited early access content available, and I'm trying to milk it as much as I can. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just going to be sitting here waiting for more Dave, and uh, I mean, you know, we got other games to play, but I am just really excited about this one. Whoopsie daisy. Should have thought about that before you attacked me, dude. Did you get the gloves? Oh, yeah, I think I was supposed to do something else for that, wasn't I? Someone mentioned as well, I've, I've been kind of ignoring the little fish. There's quite a few little fish, I think, that I have not uh, caught yet. I should try to prioritize them a little more, although, to be fair, they do like to run away. Makes sense that I go after the bigger ones that are always chasing me down. Let's see if I can get a few of these guys. Right there. Nice. Yellow tang. Yeah, it's brand new. I've never gotten one of those guys. But card completion. I mean, we can do both. White or, uh, or right? Why not bolt.jpg? You have gloves already. Oh, so can I get the urchins now? Sorry, again, it's been a while. It's entirely possible I just forgot. Hey, yeah, Seizure, how you doing? Yeah, I'm glad to hear it, Nemo. It has been a lot of fun for me, too. Clownfish. I found Nemo. Yet another little guy I haven't gotten yet. I don't know if I've gotten any of these either. Ah, oh, okay. Well, let's give it a go. No, I did not get the gloves, apparently. Okay. No worries. Alright, yeah, that doesn't work on this guy. Get out of here. Now to fry Nemo up and eat him, that's right. That's the idea. 
Another new one. Long, thin batfish. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this guy. I think I do have to use a net on them. I thought I'd have to use my little, uh... My little bug catcher thing, but... I suppose not. Black and white snapper. Yet another new fish. Yeah, I really have just kind of had... Like, tunnel vision on several of these species, haven't I? Come to think of it. Although, to be fair, a lot of the time I think I've been asked to get those things specifically. So it stands the reason that I would be drawn that way. Hey, Saitama. Alright. Speaking of being told to do things... Probably go ahead and try to get a few more uh, jellies for tonight. And if we're gonna do that, we're gonna need to find some ammo. Where would that be? Yeah, I mean, I might as well. I was gonna say I might as well take it, but then again can always disassemble. Get some fragments. Sorry, I'm still dealing with some residual sickness, by the way. I've, I keep going to bed thinking, all right, tomorrow it's, gonna, it's all going to be gone. Because I feel good. Therefore, I should not be congested. Right, body? I always feel, too, if I just decide that I'm better, that should work. If I tell my body we're not sick, like, why doesn't... Why doesn't it listen to me? It's BS, dude. Einsteinium! Welcome to the swarm! There's a throwback. Any bear hugs out there for Einsteinium? Thank you for the five months. Come back in, appreciate it. <coughs> Pardon me. There it is again. Positive reinforcement and stuff. That's literally what the secret is, right? You remember that uh, that book that was real big in like the the aughts and early teens? The secret. If you simply will it into existence, it will be yeah manifested. That's right. Ooh, boxing gloves. Fuck yeah. I should box a shark. I feel like that's what Dave the Diver's all about. Now, not Chicken Soup. is literally a book called The Secret. And the secret is you! That's page four. Oh, it was really popular when I was in high school. Oh, what? Oh. Black tiger shrimp, cool. Uh, yeah, part four would be the latest VOD, so this will be part five, I suppose, Eddie. We're just getting underway today. Looking forward to doing the, uh, the jelly party tonight. We got a lot of space in the inventory left, so I'm... Well, first of all, I'm trying to get the hell out of here right now. See ya. Oh, boy. Hello. Go ahead and mosey on over this way. Hey, Benzo. Yeah, I was just saying, I'm, I'm getting over the, the last of it. Felt well enough to get back in my normal routine today, at least. I couldn't wait another day to play Dave, either, let's be real. There was no way I was gonna sit here and not play Dave today. Sharp Japanese sword, let's go. Moody Mollusk. A few bear hugs for them as well, if you don't mind. A happy new year to you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the 27. Is this a new zone under the sluice? That would be fun, wouldn't it? Get the team in some scuba gear. That would honestly be one of the more horrifying uh, darkest dungeon areas, I'm sure. Something underwater. That would be... That'd be a big old nope, most likely from me. All right, let's 
try to get into a cavern here. Since that's typically where we find the jellies. One more step toward the inevitable fishing minigame. I mean, we joke, but... It'll probably happen. How hard is it to incorporate a fishing minigame? You do like a... You do a circle in a circle and try to line them up. That's it. If you do it, here you go. Here's a... Here's half a tentacle. From what? You'll never know. Hey, Dan, welcome. Like an old boot. There's a trinket, right? Old boot. Plus one speed. Plus five percent chance of negative banter. Because they're stinky. Yeah, might as well use this one, right? Love this song still. Love this game still, man. Big fan of everything going on here. You can just... You can just chill. Thanks, bud. I just need one more. I should look around. Hi. Did I just see a huge, huge Cleone? I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Cleone? Do, do, do. Did you just find miso sauce underwater? Underwater miso. That's where it's at, dude. You ain't living until you had Dave's sushi with underwater miso. Extra salt. Just what miso needed. Or really any sauce. Can I have that rope? Do you mind? Yeah, right, that'll work. You convinced me I'm buying the game and ordering sushi. That sounds like an ideal way to spend your Tuesday. Did I get the day right? I did, didn't I? Fuck yeah, dude. Nailing it all. Hold on. Should I go back up now? What was that little flash? That was weird. Concerning. Alright. What is this place? How the heck do we get here? Oh no, it's such a big Cleon! Cleon Queen! Oh shit. Uh, I probably won't get away without a fight. Whatever, let's defeat it first. Freaking jam out, dude. Got him! Got him! Got him! All right, ten a pop. I don't know if that's gonna do it, but we'll have to. Scooter is convenient here. Oh boy! Damn it! Yeah, I feel like the net gun ain't the thing we need. Oh boy! Open it up. Ooh, that'll work. Pardon me. Pardon me. Just gonna go over here and just pick that up. Thank you. Oh, oh boy! Yeah! Fuck! Jeez! I think this is persistent, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Wow! Yeah, that didn't go well at all. Let's try again, I guess. I'll probably need to go get that uh, sniper rifle a little more quickly here. Damn, this thing is uh, not messing around. That's what I was thinking, steak. Yeah, it sounds like an Italian dish. Sounds like a pasta. Cleone. 
go get the gun. This doesn't seem smart, though. Fuck. There we go. A little bait and switch. Okay, that'll work. Oops. There we go. Jesus. There we go. Need more ammo. Can't forget I've got the, uh... Ooh, nice. That was easy enough. Let's say I've got the, uh... Oh, shit, never mind. Fuck. I need this. CO2. Need another hit. Fuck. I missed. Oh, my God. Wow, okay. I just got eaten. Apparently that wasn't so bad, though. Honestly, seems like kind of one of the better things that can happen. Fuck! I can't move that fast, dude! Come on! This is nonsense. Okay. Just gotta deal damage, I guess. Yep, I ain't got much. To yeah, I didn't deal any damage to me, so as long as you want to eat me, that's fine. Don't run into me, though. That's a problem. Another 10. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that'll help me around here. I don't think there is. I'm feeling kind of screwed. Oh, fuck. Yep, all right. Huh. Really not sure what it's wanting from me here. Apart from just, like, desperation. And it's getting plenty of that. Ow. Jesus, really? What's the deal here, man? Okay, thank God. That was really close. That was a very difficult fight. I, I was not prepared for that. Hold on, let me blow my nose real quick. Sorry. God, is the tail a weak spot? Oh, yeah, that might have been it, huh? Whew. What a monster. Mm. Still stings. Let, go. Let me see if there's anything useful to pick up. Oh, good. We get a little O2, O2 back at least. Hello. Hurry. I see something shiny over there. Hurry. I should go have a look. Run, Dave. A photo of Maki. I'll have to take it back up. I really gotta remember to read the descriptions before I pick stuff up. Alright. Well, that was not what I expected to do tonight, but I'll take it. Thankfully, we already got plenty of jellies in the stockpile, so not to worry there. True key. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you for the bear hugs as well. Let me feel the love. Thank you for the support. Welcome back. Let's go get things ready at Boncho's. I'm excited for this day, dude. We got lots of prep. Here at Cleon, like you asked. It's so beautiful. Thank you, Dave. And I found this. Huh? Is this a photo of me? It was a huge Cleon. I found this in its home. There's a button on the back. I'll try pressing it. Maki, it's your father. If you're watching this, then I've probably failed my exp expedition. I couldn't really take care of you with my busy schedule. My greed for more work has turned me into an irresponsible father. You haven't been able to make many friends because we kept moving around because of my work. Even so, I want you to forgive me for being a terrible father and live a confident life. In your dream of becoming a chef, I hope it comes true. I'll keep watching you from afar, so don't ever lose your smile. Static. It seems to have cut off. Don't be too upset. It seems your father really loved you, Mackie. Please let me work here! What? So suddenly? Yes, my father wouldn't like to see me so lethargic and sad. I want to show him that I'm doing fine and working hard. And as you showed concern for me and helped me, I'd like to help you as well. 
a bunch, or what do you think? With a spirited child, I like her. You can start working here today, but you won't be getting any special treatment. That's okay. I'll work hard to learn and become an amazing chef. Hey, same to you, man. Maki joined Bancho Sushi as staff. Cool. Wonder how good she is. Let's go find out. She is an excellent cook. <laughs> as minimum appeal and procure. Okay. Well, so, sad to say, Maki, you are just far inferior to the two chefs we've got helping out Bancho right now. I am curious what training you looks like. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty significant upgrade. I suppose I could do that. And then if you're going to get up to 300 at level 3, then yeah, maybe that's worth looking into. Oh boy, 350. And cooking ability increases permanently. Okay, goddamn, Maki. That seems pretty good. What about another one? Wow. And I can afford it. Holy shit. All right, let's, let's get Maki going. Damn, dude. This reminds me of... I know it's kind of weird that it does because, like, this is the main game or at least a component of the main game and not just, like, a mini game. But this reminds me a lot of managing my Blitzball roster in Final Fantasy X. <laughs> like... Picking up NPCs all over the place that are of various skill levels in the different skills you need for this part, and then, you know, managing your roster and training people, etc., etc. <laughs> anyway, let's get uh let's get Maki over here instead of James, I guess. I feel like she's gotta be at least a little more appealing than James, right? She's got another light bulb as well, which I believe means. Maki seems to have prepared something. Okay. Do I just need to go talk to her about that? I'll become a great cook and make my father proud. No? All right. Fair enough. Well, that's all our money. I'm assuming we're going to make a killing tonight, though. Ooh, look. We can get the bad fish rice bowl. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, but in Blitzball, all you need is that one OP swimmer guy and you never lose. You're talking about brother. Brother's my boy. Yeah, absolutely. You get brother on the team, you level him up enough. He's got more speed than literally every other player in Blitzball and you can actually just swim circles around the enemy team. It's pretty great. I've got a lot of fond memories of Blitzball. All right. I want to sort these by jellyfish I don't think that's a thing but I'm thinking maybe if we sort by name nah it doesn't look like that's gonna help alright well I guess just by level maybe that might help hell yeah Aries Ooh, let's enhance the comb jelly to level 5 that'll definitely be good any jelly we can get on the menu today, the more the better. I will try to enhance them as much as seems reasonable without wasting all the uh, product, of course. There we go, level 6, most likely level 7 as well. That's really good. Very nice. I think that's probably it. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. We'll get the comb jelly on there, maximum amount. Very nice. All I needed was the jack shot, and that was good. Yeah, jack shot was pretty OP, too, for sure. That was a good time. All right, yeah, I think we go ahead and enhance that one to level 6 as well. Get the white spotted on the menu. Lots of good stuff there already. Mostly just looking at the ones that we have the most inventory of, because I'm pretty sure those are going to be the ones we're serving. Do, do, do. I think that's probably good for those. Very nice. Fried egg jellyfish. This one's gonna be a little cheaper, but still nice. Get that up to rank five. Throw that in the mix. What else we got? 
cuttlefish. I don't know if that actually qualifies. Blood belly comb jellyfish. There we go. That's the good stuff. Service. Two more. Long snouted seahorse, chambered nautilus, mega mouth shark meat. Don't know if we've got any more jellies, actually. Could have sworn we had at least one more variety. Like, didn't we get some of the Explody Boys? Or is that the one that I just served? I think that might be the one I just served. Yeah, that's it. All right, well, let's just go by, uh... I suppose my level wouldn't be bad here. Some white Trevally on the menu is fine. Maybe we should just do exclusively jellies, though. Really fit the theme, you know? I don't know if it would really hurt us. In fact, I think it might be better to do that. And then force people to choose from the uh, the jellyfish menu instead of getting something else. I don't think we have any kind of penalty if we, uh, if we don't fill the menu completely. Although I do wonder if we would just straight up lose money as a result, considering if there's nothing to order and people show up still, then obviously we lose that money. So I suppose we should have at least something available. So let's do... Give me some cuttlefish. Can you replace green tea? It only gives one gold. I don't know if I have another drink available yet. I'll go look, though. Yeah, I don't think I can replace... Either of the drinks right now. Those seem to be locked in. All right. One more quick nose blow while we get the bear dances filling the screen, and then we will start D Day, which is. I wish they'd called it something else. Bear dance? Bear dance? Let's do it. Open! Fashionable folks here. Unsurprisingly. And it is really nice that they handle, like, the grand majority of the uh, drink service now for me. As much as I enjoy trying to get better at that. It does take up quite a bit of my time. Very nice. I got you. Oh, there you go, there you go. I'll serve some beers. I'm not really sure about this one. That looks pretty good. Good, okay. It's needing to be a little bit more, I guess. Looks like we need more drink servers, too. Get it, get it! Bad, oof, okay, not good. Thanks. Oh, I gotta get more wasabi. Damn, we're kind of falling behind on this day. Go, Dave, go. It's gotta be the busiest the restaurant's ever been. Hot oh, damn, dude. Oh, he can't clean while he's holding this shit, and this is this person's order. God damn it. Wasting time, man. Run over here and clean up. Get that cleaning money. I got your beer, I got your beer. Someone serve that beer. All right, that's probably good. Good, ah, that would be perfect. Well, that felt like a really good day. I feel like we maybe missed a couple of folks' orders, but damn, nice. 1,400 gold. Seems they were happy with jellyfish day. Excellent. All right. Feels like something that might come when leaving early access. Different drinks or at least adjustment of prices for them. I'm assuming so, yeah. Yell up. Yeah, these are the special diving gloves made in our research facility. With these, you'll be able to pick up various objects in the water. Why don't you test them out yourself? 
in the water. I mean, I don't feel like I really need a tutorial for this, but all right. If you insist. In we go. Objects that can be picked up will show a button when you go near them. First try grabbing a pile of rocks over there and dropping them. That's weak wood, so you should be able to break through. Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. That's neat. Let's try going down. Okay. Anchor. Uh, here we go. Grab on. That current's strong. Grab the anchor so it won't sweep you away. That's fun. I like that. You can grab on to objects like that to anchor yourself. That'll come in handy with places with strong currents. Cool. Oh, I see something shiny back there. Grab the stake in front of you and pull. Okay. How do I pull? Oh, just like go that direction. Okay. Got it. Nice. Awesome! Since the path is open, grab the treasure up top before coming up. All right, see you in the boat. Hello. Looks like Dr. Bacon left abruptly again after finishing his explanation. In any case, these diving gloves look like they could come in, in very handy. I heard the sea people are waiting for you. Go down there and try pulling out the steak. Okay. Whoops. There we go. One time use O2 tank and the cargo box. Nice. Sounds good. Let's see. I don't think I need... Hmm. Cargo box would be next. Very expensive, though. Let's just go make some money. Seems good. I wouldn't call it over tutorialized. It's just... I, to be fair, I wouldn't have tried to like grab onto things to resist a current if it hadn't if it hadn't just specifically told me to do that. So, hey, Fusro, that morning. Okay. Very curious to see if I can find something to drop a boulder on or something like that. Because. I feel like I might be remembering incorrectly, but I could have sworn I've come across things like that already. That I would very much like to uh, go get again. Oh, I tried to trank rifle that thing, but it just died. Do I have a trank rifle equipped? I'm pretty sure I do, right? We can finally get an urchin. Yes, these diving gloves should be able to pick up sea urchins. Sea urchin sushi, just the thought of it makes me drool. Yum, yum, yum. Slash poisonous? Not if cooked right, I guess. Alright, once we've gotten 10 kgs worth of stuff here. Pop down our portable cargo. Yeah, this trank rifle is uh, unfortunately just doing a great job of murdering the smaller fish. I want to save that for the big boys. Like you. Or it just murders him too, I guess. Noted. What about an even bigger boy? I'll trank an even larger fish. Like you. That didn't work. Try again. There we go. Alright. 
you. Nope. There we go. Love it. Hmm, might as well. Yeah, sharks. Those are the things we've got to target with this. That's what we want. And barracudas. Also not bad. Here, sharky, sharky, sharky. We can put down our uh, temporary storage as well. Good enough. I'll take it. There's a couple big boys. Might go for this Trevally, but last time I tried that, in fact, I'm fairly sure even if I were to set the Sawtooth to sleep, I would not be able to uh, harvest it that way yet. I think I have to get the last cargo upgrade before I can harvest a sleeping shark. Always good to get lead. Basically any metal. More than happy to get. Hello. try to make something out of these things, too. Got several of them now. Love it. Back to you! Took a computer vacation. Nice. But that felt good. Good to have you back. With the 26 months in the prime, we'll come on back in. Appreciate it. Give him some bear hugs, please, if you got him. Let's see what this has, real quick. This little guy just keeps wanting to play. I like how we've somehow localized the shock within the water. Like, I don't know enough about electricity to dispute it. It just doesn't seem real realistic to me. And Dave the Diver so far has been the epitome of realism. In that the overweight guy is being abused by everyone he meets. And, you know, other things. Ding, ding, ding. Diving at 160 meters underwater is totally realistic. See, another thing I don't know enough about to dispute. Oh, yeah. Oh, this will be funny. Oh, I fall slowly as I'm holding a boulder. That's cool. <laughs> it worked. Bonk. Okay. I think we have to go this way, actually. Pretty sure through here, but this damn... These tubes are always so fickle. I think I'm better off just having the UV light. Dan Mannion, which, great name, first of all, set the current record for a deep dive on air at 645 meters. AKA 
a little uh, or quite a bit actually over uh or no about three times what we're diving right now that's wild or no a little over three times i guess Yeah, he's just diving through the sky, exactly, diving on air. No, I think that just means they have an oxygen tank. Here we go. Is that a pile of rocks moving around? Oh, hey, buddy. Perfectly sane lunatic. A oh, happy new year to you. Happy 2023. Come back for seven months. Give me some bear hugs, please. It's the octopus from last time. It's spring ink again. I won't let you get away this time. Just wait. Dave's relationship with the octopus remains one of my favorite things in the game. I want to see... A creature of this size as well. Do you bear? When you said that out loud, did that feel did that feel smart? Did willing that into existence feel like the right idea? Key the K. The forty-four. Thank you for the resubs, guys. Appreciate it. Welcome back in. Great, the path is clear. Just wait, you octopus. I'm feeling pretty good, Six. Doing well. Oh, yeah, this guy. What the hell do I do with them? Because I can't trank rifle them, right? Yeah, it just goes right through it. Harpoon does nothing. These are weird. Oh, here we go. Bonk. <laughs> that is, that is a delight. Oh, that is truly wonderful. Yet another gold star that this game has earned. <laughs> Bring a rock down with me just in case. Never know when you need a giant boulder. Oh, I almost hit him in the face. How dare you spray ink twice? I won't let you get away with this. That's Boncho for Takoyaki. Uh oh. Dead end, fella. What you gonna do? You don't give a shit. Was a squish. You think that's a dead end? You got a centimeter? He's good to go. They ran away again. It's definitely quick. They dropped something again. They always leave something behind. It might not be as bad as I thought. He's a little helper. Mysterious weapon charm. Maybe something cool will happen if it's attached to a gun. Seems to be an artifact. I'll have to identify it back at the surface. Ryan is playing this game? I thought he might today. I'm glad to hear it. I think he's going to like it a lot. All right, right. So there's the... There's the spike there. Did I have to... Oh, duh. Yeah, just go out the way. I just opened up. Silly bear. Oh, yeah. Didn't I try putting that to sleep? Pretty sure I did. Oh, it works. Ah, yeah, I don't have enough inventory space. Right. That's right. Oh, now it's just after me, though. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. Yeah, I think we just need to 
UV all the way over through the left there. I'm just still so pleased that that's actually the way to deal with the crabs. It's the job done. I'll take it. Leave me alone for a bit, buddy. Oops. What? Oh, it's... Was it hitting the freaking tubes? That's weird. Okay. We made it! You know what? I want this thing, too. Actually, I want this thing. Oh, I've gotten you before. I want you. Yay! Oh, I've gotten that too before, apparently. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on your way back. She talks like someone I know. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon? Ha! <laughs> In our language, that name sounds like spoiled whale meat. <laughs> okay. Wait a moment, let me try and pull. They to do with that information. Agree? Yeah, this is, a lot of people Dave meets are just not good people. Really don't deserve Dave's company. You got that, buddy. Big pull, big pull, big pull. There it is. And then maybe get out of the way. Yeah, it seems seems wise. It was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Oh, how convenient. There's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Alright. Oh, I do need ammo, don't I? Thank you. There's nothing that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around back. Wish I had a scooter. Oh, here we go. This is where we make our big books. Hopefully put him to sleep. There we go. Uh oh. Very quickly becoming encumbered here. That's not great. You were hiding up in the uh, damn architecture up there. Sneaky little guy. Let's see if I can find some more ammo real quick. Uh, I mean, it is ammo, just of a different sort. <laughs> Jellyfish Fest went pretty well. I was pleased. Didn't do as spectacularly as I thought we would, but it was a it was a hefty profit. I think we made like fourteen hundred or something. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> I bet this will work on this guy. Oh, yeah. Just gotta wait it out. There we go. Oh, you can discard, really. How do you do that? How do you even access the menu? I guess you have to... Oh, right. Oh, duh. Yeah, just look over here and then... Yeah, that's easy enough, isn't it? Huh. Discard the... Oh, you have to select and then discard. Okay, I gotcha. We'll discard our one-star folks here. 
They're taking up so much space. Seems like a good idea. Oh my god, the spider crabs are super, super heavy. I guess I'll keep one. Nice. That's convenient. Yeah, I'm counting with you on that, Ben. I think the Trank Dart might just be better overall than the rifle. It's a lot safer, too, obviously. That's not good. That's bad. Oh, fuck. Wow. I think I got lucky with the iframes there for a bit, but... Also still in kind of bad shape now. Here, let's go ahead and do this. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. I believe I had to go this way. Hey, little guy. Come here. I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Ow. Yeah. Not really much I could do there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, is it the other way? Damn it. Oh well, still got plenty of O2. Yeah, someone mentioned it earlier, but I'm also a big fan of the fact that uh, managing the uh, the O2 in this game is actually not that difficult. There's a stake in the back. If I pull that out, dot dot dot. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Ah, oh, shit. Too big. Oh, wait, you have to hold. Oh, I see. Wow, that's kind of hard. You have to hold. How the fuck? Damn. Hold W and A, hold right click, and also mash spacebar. That's kind of hard. Wow, human. Good, we have a path. You're more useful than you look. The village is very close. Come in through the hole you just made. I'll go ahead. But I can leave now, can't I? You listen to yourself. Aren't you worried for Ramo? Besides, I have a request for you. Oh, besides, I have a request for you. I'd like for you to come to the village with us. The Sea People Village, me? Yes, there's a reason I came all the way up to the human sea. I have a request. Uh, okay. You don't, you don't have to, Dave. You can just go. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you, because I'm the one I control. I'm just trying to let you know you've got, you've got independence to an extent. Let's be honest, you don't have any independence. You're a video game character, but if you were real, I'd be fighting for you, man. She's like a princess or something. It's not nice, but it makes sense. I mean, I suppose. Just because you can act like that as a princess doesn't mean you have to. I'm getting real spooky vibes. Same. Something moved. Human, go on ahead and be our lookout. But it's so dark. I feel like there might be something dangerous there. Ugh. Okay. Hey, look, that big fish you willed into existence. Yeah. Hey, look, the consequences of my actions. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. Well, I'm probably screwed. I don't think I'm really well geared for this. There's anchors on top. What is this? Why is there debris like this so deep? I do have bonus O2 at least. Hey, 
somebody. Oh no, those vibrations again. Something has to be here. Why did he tell me to come alone? Wee! Oh, that's fun. Move him around. Oh boy. Hey, buddy. Wolf eel. What is that? There are wolf eels that big? I don't think I can run. Oh, whatever. Whatever indeed, buddy. Oh, God. Okay, fuck. Oh, shit. Yep, no, that's... Oh, Jesus. Wow, that was close. Okay, I am so slow. I think I need to discard some stuff. Sorry, hold on. Not to uh, interrupt the insanity or anything, but there is a bit too much weight on my person right now. I think I need to just drop some comb jellies. There we go. All right, this should be a lot better now. Bear dance. There he is. Holy shit. That's fun. Oh, hello. Ow, how the heck am I supposed to... I guess that'll work. Okay. Stay low. It looks really tough. The shining spot on its tail looks weaker, though. How convenient. Get it. Yeah. He's stuck. All right. There's our opportunity. We gotta run away. He's doing his big suck. Oh, that kind of works. I just go into the ground there. God, I feel so slow against something like this. So he's gonna be going in the background now. I'm guessing, right? There he is. Just got a jet over here. There we go. No sweat. Here he comes again from the right side. He's just gonna be chomping up and down like that. That's not an issue. Wait for this and then line it up and let it fly. There's two and then. Oh, yeah! Nice. Well done, Dave. <laughs> How can a wolf eel be so big? I was just about to come and defeat it. I guess I came too late. You're stronger than I expected, human. Now you see that big gate over there? That's the entrance to the village. Take the lead, human. That was a lot easier than the last boss. I'm guessing there's uh, no harvesting to be done here. I don't know why we would fish for anything else at this point. I think we've got food enough to feed an entire town for a year. So. Maybe we should just get on that. We're finally back to the village entrance passageway. Rama, you have a key, right? Oh, no, I left the key back at the... Just kidding, I have it. It's... Rama. I thought you'd ask me to take you again. Let's insert the key and get back to the village. It's not going to work, is it? Okay, okay. Noise. So this is... That's right, this is the Sea People Village we live in. To think there would be a place like this under the sea. Wait! But how did a human get in here? Ramo and Suwong, were you kidnapped by this human? Tension awaits you, he's lost sleep worrying about you. It's kind of hard to explain. Allow me, I rescued Ramo after she was kidnapped by a squid. Forget it, just take me to my father. It'll be faster for me to explain things to him. 
Tee hee hee. Cool achievement unlocked. Making a detention house. Oh my goodness, Robo, my daughter! Where were you, my precious girl? Your daddy was worried out of his wits! Are you hurt? Did the humans do something to you, my daughter? Wait, who is it next to you? I thought you'd brought up blue manatee, but this is a human. <laughs> when will it end? When? Hashtag end Dave abuse. What is going on here? I'd like an explanation. You know that strange things have been happening around here recently, right? For example, the tremors and the ice melting off the divine tree. Of course, Rama. I've been looking into the causes. It's already been two years. You know our technology has its limits. Well, the ancient texts have all been lost, and we need to figure out new methods again. We can't simply keep waiting, Father. Humans are selfish, but they have good technology. We need their help. Not the humans. They can't be trusted. They dirtied our home and even hunted our kind to put on display. They're wicked creatures looking to hunt us and steal from us. We can't ally with the likes of... Another huge tremor! See, something really bad will happen if we don't do anything. Ah, hmm. When I was taken by the giant squid in human waters, Dave here helped me out. Swamp said he was the one who did that earlier. Try asking him. Not all humans can be bad, can they? Uh, I mean, in Dave's experience, yeah. Even if I wanted this, the villagers would not agree. Getting help from humans, everyone would find that hard to believe. If this man can gain the village's trust, I'll consider your suggestion. The village's trust, how's he go about winning that? How about asking around to see what they need? All right, since today's long trip must have been pretty tiring, human, come back tomorrow. You'll have to listen to the villagers' requests. I didn't even agree yet. How am I supposed to come all the way here? Portal? Chapter 3. Since you say you helped my daughter Ramo, I suppose it would be fitting for my or wouldn't be fitting for my people to ignore your needs even if you're a human. Use this. What is this? Looks like an ordinary mirror. The sea people mirror, once installed, will let you instantly travel to this village. Wow, is such a thing possible? The various disasters have caused our decline, but our ancestors were a very advanced civilization once. Right now, all we have left is a few of their relics, sadly. In any case, installing this in your village will allow you to come to this village whenever you need. It will recognize your face, so only you'll be able to use it. It also operates from the light of the divine tree of the sun, so you can only use it during the day. But I'll give you a village map to use that'll help you find the villagers. A teleportation device, that's pretty amazing. I'll have to go back to the boat with this mirror for now. Sounds good, buddy. One more. Oh my goodness. I really thought it was almost over. But apparently my face has a lot more nastiness to expel. Well, there we go. Increases gun base damage by 30%. I don't think I really care about that, to be honest. <clears throat> K-Cow! No. 46 months, welcome back. Bear hugs, please. 
He said I could go to the Sea People Village with this during the day, right? I should go tomorrow. Mm. Oh no, look at the time. Boncho must have opened already. Mm. I should drop by and check if anything of note happened. Oh my god, yeah, it's almost midnight. Mm. Looks like I arrived too late. Mm. I should do a little cleanup. What a guy. What a swell fella. Thank you for the resub, mm -hmm. K-Cal. Appreciate it. Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? No, that's you. Well, my work ended just now, and I was passing by. I saw the lights were on despite the hour. Hmm. Bancho seems to have gone home already. Okay. He looked a bit tired recently. I'm worried he might fall ill. Oh, no. Even so, I'm glad to see him working so hard again like this. Yeah. Well, come to think of it, I heard he once gave up cooking because of a certain incident. Yes, back then I thought he was gone for good. I wonder what it was about. Well, it's nothing that secretive. I simply avoided mentioning it with him present just in case it's still a sore spot for Bancho. I'm thirsty. Can you first give me a glass of beer? Yeah, I can handle that. Do I need to... Do I need to, like, taper the pouring so that there's less foam? I'm not really sure how to do that. Nothing so refreshing as a glass of beer after work. It's especially nice to have a view of the sea at night like this as I drink. I'll tell you now a bit about Bonjo and why he quit cooking for a while. It was 12 years ago. Not a big beer drinker, now. This is the Dugong Hotel. I worked here 12 years ago. It's a five-star hotel with both tradition and a long history. Looks a bit old, yes, but at the time, the quality of the food and service had been newly improved. Yoshi, do you have a moment? What is it, manager? Well, a troublesome customer left a reservation. A troublesome customer? You know the actress Louis Crawford? She made a reservation at our hotel. Interesting. Our Dugong Hotel is a luxury hotel with many years of history and tradition. In the past, we had nobles staying in our accommodations, and many notable films were shot here. Many people seeking that sort of old era nostalgia used our services. We had very high standards for the services we provided. This just turned into a visual novel, right? That's kind of interesting. The manager has spent his entire life at the hotel. It was like he was li a living embodiment of its history. He had a lot of knowledge about the etiquette used by the upper class of each country. And he was very used to servicing those of high rank. Many VIPs sought his services. Louis Crawford. She was a leading actress with a long career. Her role as a spy in one of her most famous works, The 42nd Floor, was extremely impressive. She appears to have hit a slight slump as her new movies haven't been doing very well. I've, I've heard that Louis Crawford, or Louis Crawford can be very picky. We are a very high quality hotel with history and tradition on our side. I don't think there will be any issue if she comes. Ah, oh, so there it is. Nobody can beat that level of service and staff at this hotel. Keyboarder! Thank you for the 19, welcome back. We've mo won many prizes as well. Just one thing. You haven't heard of the rumors about her, have you? The rumors? Take a look at this. This is... I probably should have looked at the actual photo, yeah. She's famous not only as a chef, but a gourmet. That's a blurb she published in a travel magazine recently. It appears to be a description of her travels, but it's just her bashing on the hotel she stayed at. Gloria Hotels are the best of the best, and yet she wrote a scathing review. Bringing out the bad does the make a person look more professional. Her writing is mostly like this. What do you suggest we do, Yoshi? What do you think, chat? It's Lois, not Louie. Nah, you, you can read it like that. She's Louie to me. I'm leaning toward accepting it. It doesn't seem right to decline. Probably just accept it. It's 
suppose we can't refuse the reservation if only for the hotel's reputation's sake. In that case, we'll have to think about how we'll serve her. We'll take the reservation, but we also need to think of ways to satisfy her. I suppose you're right. Do you have any ideas, Yoshi? Uh, our hotel's strengths are our long history and tradition as well as our high-quality service. The way we can satisfy her will involve making good use of these things. Did she reserve a suite? Yes, it's a suite. We'll need clean rooms and services that match her tastes. We'll treat her as a VIP. I'll look into the drinks and amenities she prefers and place them as I also check on the state of the rooms. About who will receive her... I suppose I'll have to do that. Thank you. There's no one that can handle such a tricky customer except you with your long experience with many VIPs. I'm more tense than usual. And about the meals, we can offer her the buffet for breakfast, but we'll also need to ready a dinner course. The dinners at our hotel are obviously Italian. Our hotel provides Italian food like a bistro in an a la carte style. We serve pasta or pizza with a simple wine. The chef learned to cook in Naples, and his margarita pizza was good, but didn't really go well with the dinner course. Japanese. Anything but French. Dugong Hotel's Japanese food has never been its strong suit. We only served udon or simple donburi. We've been making ex exponential progress, however, after we hired Bancho. Bancho was famous for his ability to reinterpret the use of ingredients, and his food was recently featured in an overseas magazine might be our dark horse. That means Japanese is likely to be our best choice. Bancho hasn't really proven himself yet. Do you think it'll be all right? Bancho's skill is indisputable. However, our one great drawback is that he doesn't consider the preferences of his customers. His sole focus is letting people try new flavors. That's what drives his creativity, of course, but this time it won't really serve us. We're dealing with the infamous Lil Crawford, after all. I see, that's a good point. However, I think the best we can do right now is try and persuade Bancho. I agree. Best of luck, Yoshi. Young Bancho. Bancho, are you here? Miss Yoshi, what are you doing here? Oh, you're here, that's good. Cho uh, come to check on the status of the manager's request. Look all you want, it's just an ordinary Japanese food kitchen. Bancho was a peculiar man. He suddenly appeared one day, handing us a resume and explaining he'd been learning in Japan. All the sushi establishments listed in the resume were top tier, but Bancho never stayed in one place for long. He told me he moved on each time after learning enough. The manager had a long talk with him and then left the operation of the Japanese food team to him. He could always be found in the kitchen, busy with something, day in and day out. He researched food on his own when there were no customers. He hated to be interrupted. I'm not gonna lie. This is fun and cool as like a twist, but the, I, I am very much looking forward to the visual novel thing being done rapidly because I want more Dave the Diver. I, I didn't play this to play a visual novel. <laughs> like, I appreciate the novelty of it, ah, but... Less of this, please. Well, yes. Training means thousands and tens of thousands of attempts. Practice without rest is the only way to produce meaningful results. I see. I heard that you never skip research and practice, Bancho. It relieves me to see you so hard at work. What do you mean you're relieved? Bancho, would you be willing to try servicing a VIP? Yeah, to be honest with y'all, I'm kind of good just, like, not reading the rest of this. Because <laughs> I kind of get it. I really don't want to do an entire visual novel section here. I'm sorry. I apologize. If you were if you were enjoying this, feel free to jump in and enjoy this in-game yourself, but this is definitely not what I am looking to get out of Dave the Diver, so I'm just gonna... Sorry, yeah, I'm just gonna power through this here, and I'm very glad I made that choice because, holy shit, there's a lot of reading. Like a paragraph to say what a sentence could have. Yeah, it's really unnecessarily wordy. 
Yeah, this is, uh, this is not for me. Sorry. Here, have some pickled olive flounder fins. That sounds good. That sounds good, dude. Very abrupt change in pacing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is, this is wild. This is like, this is too long. I'm sorry. This ain't for me. <laughs> this is not what I play Dave the Diver for. Bye-bye. Finally done. Okay. After that, Boncho quit his job at the hotel and left, saying he needed to train. It's my belief it wasn't so much the cooking itself as the ingredients and cooking methods that he researched. I see. Still, I admire him a little for not giving up on the belief that he's going on the right path. I suppose it was this stubborn side of him that allowed him to attain his current level of skill. Working with you now he even started social media. Feels something has changed about him, and I like it. I think you're good for him. I'll do my best to help Boncho focus on his cooking. Dave fell asleep during Yoshi's story. It's canon. Yeah, that's. Uh, I wouldn't blame him, honestly. Hey, back to Dave. I thought. Dave, you weren't around yesterday, so I was a bit worried. I couldn't get in touch with you via radio either. I was at the Sea People Village yesterday. You what? What happened? Well, you see. Second visual novel. <laughs> I see, I envy you, I do. What a lucky experience. I'm not sure how I can help, but it's clear they have problems to deal with. Let me go talk to with the residents first. I'd love to go as well, but as you said, only one person can use the Sea People mirror. What a pity. What an unexpected turn of events. If you need any of my tools, don't forget to check out the Cobra shop. Yeah, I'll have to use the Sea People mirror first to visit their village. All right. You can use the mirror tension gave you to immediately travel to the sea people. I, I know they, they told me that. Next game. Scooter. Scooter. That'll work. Well, let's head to the sea people. Hell yeah. Yeah, I want to hear what happened to Cobra, huh? Me too. He hasn't really gotten a lot of time in the spotlight lately. All right. Mima's Restaurant. Well, well, aren't you the human we've been hearing rumors about? Well, you won't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run a restaurant in the village. I'm Dave. I'll be helping out of the village for a while. Oh, receiving help from a human I've never considered it a possibility before. Let's see. It's not like I can ask you to cook. Hmm. My goodness, I forgot. Awang and Nawang go to lunch boxes. Oh, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier. Yes, would you perhaps take the lunch boxes I left in front of the door? They should still be on duty at the gate. Please help me out, human. Even with you skipping most of that story bit, it feels like forever since we've dived. Dude, I'm starting to feel that way too, and it's bumming me out because it's like... The characters are all fun and, and interesting, and I like the lore is neat, but... That's not why I'm enjoying Dave the Diver. I'm enjoying Dave the Diver diving with Dave. And it really feels like a lot of the time the game seems determined to, like, circumvent that. Or, like, get you away from that and have you do something else. And it's like, nah, dude, just keep making the ocean deeper and introducing more fish. That's, like, literally all I wanted. And now we're all into this, like super intense lore section which is yeah not not really for me okay let's go take them their lunches i guess is the gate over here or is it all the way oh here it is yeah hey guys congrats on beating the boss here's 30 plus minutes of story with no gameplay <laughs> Human, what is it? I was asked to bring you these lunch boxes. These are from Mima. 
You didn't add poison on the way here or anything, did you? Why would I? Well, all right, give it here. Good work, I suppose. Do I get credits? Even Dave just wants to get back to diving. Yeah, seriously. You done? Cool. <laughs> Turn into Dave the Diplomat. Yeah, that's really good. It's just like straight up turning in RPG quests here, dude. This is... This is going a very different direction all of a sudden. You just, you delivered them, didn't you? Humans are not bad. I'll tell you if I need something done again. Bay? Okay. Cool. I mean, I kind of just... <laughs> I feel bad. Because, like, I should be more open to it. But if I'm being real, I don't want to do any of this. I want to go back out in the ocean, and I want to go catch fish, and I want to run the sushi restaurant. I was having fun. We'll deal, we'll deal with this later. I'm going to go catch some fish. I'm gonna go play Dave the Diver. <laughs> I don't know what they're worried about. I'm gonna go do my thing. <laughs> okay. Back to the ocean. There we go. That feels better already, man. Let's go swimming. I don't think I've been this deep. No, I haven't really upgraded the harpoon gun all that much. I have a little bit. It's definitely been a lower priority thing for me. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't even care. He was just like, what the hell? Oh, all right. Whatever. Can I read that? Treat it like a Bethesda game, do everything but the main quest. There we go. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that might actually kind of be the case here, too, because it's entirely possible that once I, like, complete the main quest line, I'll have a lot less uh, desire to participate in the auxiliary stuff. So, yeah, there's, I think there's some truth to that, actually. Yeah, I really think the rifle is unfortunately just worse than the dart. Especially considering the fact that we can't even harvest the uh, sleeping sharks or anything like that. Even the net gun's a little bit better than the rifle, to be honest. Which is super disappointing. Really hoping that thing would be better. Oh well. You mean dead. That gun's like an AoE sleep dart. Yeah, it kind of seems like that. Level three hush dart seems real good. Yeah, I'll give it a look. I feel like we got a billion fragments for weapon upgrades, so. Seems pretty likely we'll be able to do it. Can I go any deeper now? Or have I reached my depth cap already? Because I know I can go down in here. But it didn't feel like there was anywhere else to go down this way. Let's look around more. I'm betting we're gated by the story. Yeah, I think... You might be right. Oof, dude. It's kind of a bummer. Well. 
guess we'll go earn some favor. What's the max depth of the suit? I'm not sure. Couldn't tell you off the top of my head. down here at least game's not done yet either yet no, it's still in early access so oh cool I haven't got that yet okay whatever let's go do some quests I guess this will probably be doable in a day anyway so I'm just hoping each quest isn't gonna be 10 credits because that's gonna be tedious are you that human? Human, not human. Ah, oh, you look interesting. You don't even have fins. He reminds me of someone. What is the shop you're running? I sell various seeds here, as well as flowers to offer to King Long. King Long? My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He's the great king who saved this village from disaster. It's very difficult to hold conversation with you. You know that? Go and offer a flower to King Long first. The tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one. This is the same quest. I'm trying not to be overly critical of this, but I can't help but notice this right away. This is the exact same quest. Go pick up a thing that's waiting for you out front and bring it somewhere else in the village. Oh boy. At least this place is pretty. I love the depth to it as well. It's very impressive. Not that, not that you get it. I'm talking about like the... Oh, so this statue is of King Long. It's the same person as in the painting from the record chamber. I do remember that. I guess I can put the flower on the platform in front of the statue. Yeah, no, buddy. I probably could have figured that one out, but... If you want to take the reins, be my guest. Yeah, it's really a gorgeous game. I love it. I've done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. This is different from the... Oh, that's pretty fun. Look at this. Yeah, this is actually just phenomenal artwork. I want I want to give them some some props here. Look at the way those are swaying like that. To make that look that good as pixel art is incredibly impressive. Every element of this, just like the little trees, the coral, the leaves, the architecture, obviously. Absolutely beautiful game. Water in the water, by the way. Water waterfall. I heard this was the door previously used to go to the glacial region. But this passage has been blocked for a while. Nobody knows what state it's been in during that time. I'd like to go to the glacial region. With the way those clams act, I think you're in a fish tank. Ooh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, you must be the outsider. May King Long's protection be with you. Hey, what's this place? Oh, this is where we commemorate King Long. It's also where we store records of our history. I heard from Tenjin that you're helping out in the village. Yeah, well, that's how it is for now. In that case, there's something I'd like your help with. There's to be a wedding soon here in the village. A recent earthquake destroyed the stone slate we need for the wedding, however. I should have been more careful about storing it. That sounds like a big deal, but how can I help you with something like that? 
days when the sea people roamed the seas freely, we left some records in the human waters. Oh, we must be talking about the sea people record chamber. There should be a stone slate in one of those places for certain. Please do help me out, human. There was a song for a wedding, right? I guess I'll just go to the sea people record chamber first. I'll try and bring back the slab. Would you do that for me? I'm truly grateful, human. May the blessing of King Long go with you. Taffy. Taffy. Hello. My mama left. I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm just wondering. Homie is swole. God damn. Didn't even notice that at first. Fucking Mr. Olympia up in here. Dude's biceps got biceps. Alright then. Back to it. Uh, let's... Let's see where this one goes real quick. Sounds good. Oh, that's... Is it this one only goes to there, but apparently these two both go back to this. Okay then. Oh, what's this? Oh, request board. What do I do? Kids, what's going on? We were playing ball outside the village when a megamouth shark suddenly appeared. It swallowed our ball! Megamouth? You mean the huge Yes, can you go get it for us, human? It looked really scary. <laughs> Alright, I'll get it back for you. Thanks so much, human! It's so hard to refuse children. I guess I might as well get all the quests at the same time, right? Seems logical. Hi. Yeah, what's up? Sorry, folks, I gotta handle something real quick. Be right back. Sorry about that, y'all. Just had to take care of something. 
<laughs> Are you not feeling well? Human, none of your business. You look very ill. Should I bring you something like coral porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Ramo had asked me to bring this before. Lies, humans can't be trusted. Well, it looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Boncho to make it. The ingredients were feather coral and lily coral, right? I remember that. I done did that before. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't want to do this, but I think it is going to have to happen. I, I think I need to wrap up a little early today. Got some issues to address, so... Sorry about this. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. <laughs>